Hello and welcome to KNR project. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use a keypad to create a password and then display it on an on a LCD. So the materials required are few jumper wires, an Arduino, the adapter for the Arduino, a 10k ohm resistor, a LCD, a keypad, and a potentiometer. So first of all, let's connect this keypad to the Arduino. You can see that there are 8 pins on this keypad. The 8 pins denote 4 rows and 4 columns. So I'll connect it one by one. The Arduino. The first four pins denote rows of the keypad and then the remaining four pins denote the columns. So I'll start from digital pin one and then connect it to the Arduino. Second pin for row to pin number two. Third pin to pin number three. Fourth pin to pin number four. Fifth pin. Now pins for columns start here. In pin number five. Sixth pin. Pin number six, seven pin, pin number seven, and finally the eight pin to pin number eight on the digital pins. Now, with this, the setup of this keypad is completed. And now we'll have to connect this LCD to the Arduino. So to learn how to connect the LCD to the Arduino and to learn about its code, you can see my other video. The link is in the description. In this tutorial, I have used analog pins to connect the LCD library to the Arduino. So with this, our setup is complete. And now I'm going to upload the code to the Arduino. So this is our program. You can see that I have included liquid crystal library and then keypad library. This keypad library can be downloaded from Arduino's official website. And then I have created a password array which has a six digit code. And the first position of the keyboard is led 0 the number of bytes the number of rows are 4 and the number of columns in our keypad are 4 that's why these rows and columns are led 4 and they are constant and then you can see that a key a keyboard our keyboard characters have been mapped here and this will be related to our keypad when we touch any particular keys and then in this row pins array you can see that the pins which are connected to the Arduino and then to the rows and columns are denoted here the first four pins of the keypad are row pins which I had connected to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then the remaining four pins are column pins which are connected to 5, 6, 7 and 8 and then in keypad object you can see that I have let it keyboard, keyboard keys and then this is the complete combination of this key map array and then this rows, row pins column pins and this rows and columns number so after that the pins of Arduino and then LCDs are related with the library liquid crystal library and in the void setup loop the number of rows and columns of the LCD is written and then in the void loop you can see that the key entered must be <coughs> read by the variable name enter key 
and then I have printed welcome and enter password on the LCD and here is our condition if the enter keys are the if the enter keys are the pins other than our password then it will display invalid bro but if we select the correct password keys then the key position will increase and then it will check whether the key position is 6 and if the if the key position is 6 then our password condition is satisfied because we have 6 digit password and then finally it will display accepted so this is the code guys to upload it you just have to click the arrow that's on the left hand corner on the top of the left hand corner after some time done uploading is shown on the screen so let's check our code you can see that welcome and enter program enter password is shown on the lcd so if i give input other than the password then it displays invalid bro you can once again see invalid bro the password is asterisk 6 d hashtag 0 and a so when you type the password accepted is shown on the screen and with this the tutorial is completed hope you guys like this video and if you like it then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so thank you guys see you next time